Coming up today on That LTD Life, it is Signum.ai. This is a dual purpose tool. It lets you do two things. First of all, you can track people on LinkedIn. So maybe there's some top talent over there you wanna hire or some prospects you want to close a deal. You can follow their profiles and if they update their profile to indicate a specific keyword or maybe change companies, you can swoop in, message them and get the business done. The other thing that Signum does for you is allow you to follow the latest trends on the internet. So when something is bubbling up and getting more and more popular, you can get in and be ahead of the curve and make the best business decisions. My name is Dave, by the way, I review a new lifetime deal every day of the week. This video is not sponsored. So if you wanna support my content, I've got a link for AppSimo down below. You can watch the video, decide whether or not this tool is right for you, but clicking on that link and then buying anything from AppSimo does help support me to make a new review every single day. Now let's get right into Signum. You can see here the lowest price plan is 59 bucks. That's what I'm using to make this video. We'll come back near the end. I'll give you my final score and we can also go over the plans and pricing to see where the best value is. So here is what Signum looks like. As I mentioned, there's two tools, there's trends and there's tracking. Otherwise, we've just got a link to their support where you can fill out a little form and their help center docs. So let's start off with trends. This is pretty simple to understand. It's a lot like Brian Dean's Exploding Topics, if you're familiar with that tool. Uh, essentially, we've got some keywords up here, how much growth we have seen. Then I can click into them and I get a brief little summary here it's basically a quick overview explaining what the topic is or what it refers to and then how you might use it. So if you're a school, you'd use this keyword in this way. So that's it for trends. Like you can just scroll through here if that's how you choose to do it. Look for ideas that are interesting to you. We can sort by up to 100 here and you'll see once I switch to 100 ideas per page, there is only two pages of topics. So you know, less than 200 ideas available, but that is still quite a bit, especially if these are truly useful to you. There is some sorting and searching ability. We can select a market here. Let's say you're in something like real estate. I could go ahead and search for real estate down here, and then it's gonna filter out all of the ideas that are not related to real estate. Currently, there is seven available for real estate. I could also search for keywords like EVs, let's say I'm interested in electric vehicles, I could search for EV and it's gonna find EV. Now, this points out a specific problem that we have where EV is a very common keyword, but it's also just two letters. It's a very com common combination of letters as well. And a lot of these are not related to electric ve vehicles. So it'd be nice to have maybe some intelligence behind the search to know that EVs means electric vehicles. Like it's a keyword, not just a combination of characters. Of course, I could do EVS, and this is gonna be a little bit better because now we've got battery management systems in EVs, but we also get devs over here, which is EVS with the letter D in front of it. Overall, the trend section is fine, but perhaps what's more useful is the report section. Now you can't customize this at all. It's essentially a newsletter that they put out every single week by Signum AI. I can read the report and it's got all of the new ideas that have been added to the database that week. So here is the latest edition of this report. And it says AI in drug discovery, rise of micro fringe and workforce well-being program. So again, very similar to something like the exploding topics newsletter that you might subscribe to already if you follow Brian Dean. So the trend section is interesting, but it just needs more. It's a little bit sparse right now. I, I think you might be able to get some interesting keywords out of it, but it'd be nice if I could have related topics linked to each other or maybe look for broader keywords and then have it show maybe more specific things based upon it. So like I could search for electric vehicles and then it would be smart enough to find anything that would tangentially be related to that. The next section is tracking, and this is perhaps the more valuable component to the tool. So let's go ahead and see how this works. The first thing you do is click here to add a list. Now I wanna point out that it does have a button to watch a video, and the video just doesn't load. It's supposed to be in a modal, but it doesn't show up. It doesn't show up as a blocked pop-up, so uh, I've tried it in multiple browsers. I can't get this to work. That's just a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and add a new list in here. And here are the triggers that we can monitor. Now, in order to track someone, you need to have both their email, they're not their email address. You need to have their website address for their company, as well as their LinkedIn profile URL. So I've got mine already in a CSV here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to track on all of these triggers. So I've got a position change, a job change, 
and a location change. Now, the difference between a position and a job change would be changing within the company versus getting a brand new job at a different company. Then location change will be like moving, right? And then we can also track specific keywords. So I'm just going to track that LTD life. All right, we'll hit apply here, move to the next screen where we have to actually upload a CSV file. Now, I would love if I could just enter in an individual contact and not have to create a CSV file if I have a small number of contacts that I want to track. I could just do this one by one. Maybe I want to track five people this week. I could just type it up. But instead, you actually do have to go through the process of downloading their template and then updating it there and uploading it back into the tool. Now they do link in their help doc here. They do link over to a tool that you can use inside of Chrome to basically generate these lists, but it's a third party tool and I haven't tried it out. So I'm not gonna speak on it one way or another. What I do have is their template and I have updated it with my personal information. This way I'll be able to make changes on LinkedIn and see if the notifications come into Signum. So let's go ahead and export this from Google Docs. I'll choose download and CSV. All right, there we go. It is now downloaded. I'll just drag and drop the file in here. I wanna mention that the drag and drop works very well. Sometimes with newer apps, those are the things that don't get the polish. I'm just gonna call this list test and we'll hit continue. We'll do some field mapping here. So it's gonna grab all of these perfectly. It says, you know, the little check mark, it says match because I use their template. So that's how I grab those headers without any issue. You might have to map those manually if you don't use their template. And it added two prospects. If you remember, Signum's CEO was on here by default. I didn't delete him, so we've now got him tracked as well. Okay, let's go ahead and create this list. We are now tracking two people, and I've had zero events so far. So I think the first thing that I could do is change my position at LinkedIn. So I'm gonna go over to my profile, and we'll edit that. Currently, my position is managing director, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. All right, here we go. I have updated the position change. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and position has been added. All right, so we'll go ahead and close out of this, head back over to Sigma and go ahead and confirm that it actually updates me. So just to confirm, here is my LinkedIn profile. It has the new position right here. And then over in Sigma, I can click into my list here, actually just click see details. And then here is my prospect I Can show the prospect. And I've got the link over to email as well as the LinkedIn link and then I can view the details of that contact. And any changes should show up on this screen. As you can see, the triggers are going to be a per person position change. If I hit show details, it says I am currently the managing director, which it basically has not scanned this contact again since I made the update. While I'm waiting for Signum to scan my LinkedIn profile again and mention that I have changed positions, I'm gonna go ahead and post on LinkedIn and I'm gonna use that keyword that's being tracked that LTD life. So here's my profile. I'm gonna scroll down and create a post and I've got one on my clipboard ready to go here. I'll just paste it in. It says, have you seen my new daily LTD reviews? It's called that LTD life. I'm gonna go ahead and post this right away and we'll see if this raises any flags over at Signum. Now, one of the other triggers that I set up on Signum was a change of location. Currently, my profile says I'm in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. So I'm gonna update that and see if Signum notices. So I'll click on the pencil icon. I'll scroll down to location here and I'm gonna change it to Greater Minneapolis, St. Paul area and hit save. It says your intro is saved. I'll close out of this, refresh the page. Actually, I can see it already made the change here. Greater Minneapolis, St. Paul area. All right, I have hit three out of the four different types of updates. The only thing left to do is completely leave my company. Back over on Signum, by the way, it has not noticed any new events yet. I'm not sure how real time this is, but I do think that some kind of prompt updating could be very helpful. If a top candidate changes their job, you'd wanna know within minutes, not days. So I'm hopeful we actually get a update pretty quickly here. Now, one thing I don't like about the Signum interface is I'm inside of this prospect's details and perhaps I want to update the keywords that I'm tracking. Well, I can't actually do that from inside of this section. In fact, I can't even see which keywords I am currently tracking. Right here it says keywords mentioned, but this is just a toggle switch and it doesn't allow me to see which keywords I'm currently tracking. There's no way to edit the existing triggers. That's definitely a little bothersome. There's also this option over here for company details. If I click on this, 
it actually takes me into the company here, client amp. And then it looks like I have a trigger set up for new job openings for client amp. So just by following a prospect, it also set up an additional trigger for job openings for this company. I didn't do anything to configure it. It's simply automatic. I assume there's going to be one for Signum as well. So let's hit company details. And yeah, sure enough, there is. And again, you can't remove this if you want. Now, inside of the list, there's also this option to export to CSV. So obviously I just imported my list to CSV, but let's say I've gotten some new information, like someone's updated their profile. I wanna get this information out. I can click right here. It'll download a brand new CSV file that has some new fields available in it. So here is the CSV file. You can see it's got all of the original fields, but if I scroll over to the right, it's also going to have any updates that have been mentioned. So a location change, a position change, a job change, keyword mention, and a LinkedIn post link. So that is cool that it's gonna kinda of keep track of that for us. We'll have a nice little log of all of the uh, tracking that we've done, but uh, it doesn't change the fact that the updates have not come yet. All right, so upon reviewing their documentation, I found that they actually only check your prospects activity once per week. It says, this means you can expect new triggers every Monday. In my opinion, that's not enough. I might be okay with once per day, but once per week is not frequent enough. I'd love to see that increased significantly. Potentially, you know, once per hour would be even better. Like for example, maybe you're trying to track people who are unhappy with a particular service provider. They could be posting, looking for recommendations. Well, by the time you actually get this notification, six days could have passed and they may have already filled that position. You won't be able to swoop in and close that sale. You'll instead be something that is a problem they addressed three days ago. So. This really is not going to be super helpful unless you are maybe looking for talent and they're not jumping on a new job one day after leaving their old position, but people do that as well. So that is what Signum has to offer. Now, I will finish this review in terms of showing you what it actually looks like when a new trigger is activated in the next edition of the Taco Truck Roundup. So definitely get subscribed to the channel for that. I suspect it'll be out on Tuesday of this week, so it will not be long. You'll find out what it looks like when those triggers go off, assuming that they do. Now, because of that, I'm gonna hold off on giving you a final score today, unfortunately, but we can still look at the AppSumo plans and pricing. So here are the different plans. There are three license tiers available. $59 gives you 200 contacts for tracking and a single seat. If you move up to tier two, it's 150 bucks. It gives you a thousand contacts for tracking and three seats as well as Slack alerts. But remember, the alerts are only gonna be happening once per week. Not enough in my opinion. Then the last tier up here is 3000 contacts for tracking, five seats and still Slack alerts. So really the best value probably is going to be on tier one or tier two, unless you just absolutely need to track more contacts Then obviously tier three makes sense. So I'm going to pause this review for now, but leave me any comments or questions down below so I can answer them in the next edition of the taco truck roundup. Also head over to clientamp.com, get signed up for the free email newsletter. Once again, I am Dave Swift. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.